Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable some amazing secret features on your iOS 14.5 device. Now, individually, these features are not secret, but the secret here is the result that you will get when you combine them and enable them using some other features of iOS 14 and of course using a few tricks that I will show you guys. You will get some really impressive results and you will get some features that you never thought you would have on your iPhone. Things like having orientation lock turned on automatically or off automatically based on what you're doing or whichever app you're using on your device, which of course is really, really cool and very useful at the same time. So let's get started. But before we get into that, make sure to help me out by leaving a like on the video. It helps a lot for the algorithm. So make sure you do that. All right, first of all, we're going to the Shortcuts app. Now, here is where all starts. Now, with iOS 14.5, Apple has added a few new actions to the Shortcuts app, and one of them is the ability to toggle on or off the orientation lock. Now, of course, you will have that very easily from the control center, you have it here, and you can do that, and doing it from a shortcut is not that useful. But always, of course, when you combine those features, these shortcuts with other stuff, you will get some amazing results. So let's just search here for orientation lock. So here we have orientation lock. Now when you're creating a shortcut for the orientation lock, you will have two different things here. You will have toggle, which basically creates a shortcut, which will turn it on and off based on its current state. So if it's on, you toggle it, it turns it off. Or you can go to turn and choose whether you want to use that shortcut to turn it on or off. Now for this video, we're going with toggle here and just tap the next button and just name it right here. So orientation lock, so that will be it. And here we have the shortcut. But of course, using it as a shortcut is not that useful. Now the first thing, this is a simple one, you can combine it with back tap. So you go to your, so you go to your settings, you go to accessibility, and from here go to touch, and you will find back tap right here. Go to either double tap or triple tap, whichever one you use. And now you will have the ability to actually turn on or off orientation lock using back tap it's a bit hard here doing it from the stand of the iphone but basically it allows you to do just that so turn on or off orientation lock using back tap so you're watching a video you don't want to interrupt to yourself and go to the control center just double tap or triple tap and you're good to go but this is not that cool the one that i will show you guys right now is pretty awesome and you can do that for every app on ios what you need to do is go back to the shortcuts app and just tap the plus button right there and now search for orientation lock once you have found orientation lock you will need to actually here create two different shortcuts for the first one we tap on toggle and tap on turn and choose here turn off let's go to next and let's just name this off so here we have it it's done let's create another one and name this on so let's go ahead and search again for orientation lock here we have orientation lock tap on toggle tap on turn right here and turn leave that at on tap next and just name it on tab done and you're good to go so we have now two different shortcuts one to turn the orientation lock on and one to turn it off but what's the use for these here's what you need to do so let's say you watch youtube a lot and you use orientation lock when you go to your youtube app you will need to interrupt the video to go to the control center to actually turn off orientation lock what you can do with ios 14.5 simply head on to automations create personal automation and then search here for app once you find app go ahead and choose the app from here so let's just search for youtube here we have youtube click the dumb button and just leave it at this at opened click the next button right there and tap on add action here search for shortcut once you have found shortcut tap here and tap run shortcut and right here search and find the off shortcut that we just created so basically tapping next here and disabling this don't ask and tap done now we have created an automation which will automatically just turn off orientation lock whenever we enter youtube you can see right here we have orientation lock turned on 
tap on YouTube, you can see it automatically switches it off. But of course, someone likes to keep orientation lock all the time on. Now, if you just want to have it off while watching YouTube, what you need to do is just go ahead and quickly create another automation. So tap right there, create personal automation, go to app right here and choose is closed and disable the one here. And again, just search for YouTube, click the done button, click next, tap on add action, search for shortcut. Once you have found shortcut, of course, tap on run shortcut and just choose the on shortcut that we have created, disable this, tap done, and now you're good to go. So you can see right here what we have. Now we can turn on orientation lock right here. You can see we enter YouTube, it's automatically turned off. We go out of YouTube, it's automatically turned on. It's as easy as that and you can do this. You can do this actually for any app that you want on iOS. Any app like maybe the Photos app or any other video app that you have that you need to use on landscape mode. But at the same time you like to use the orientation lock feature, then you can use this to basically turn it on or off automatically. Now, of course, there are other cases that you might use this. For example, let's say you actually put on your headphones, maybe your AirPods at nighttime, you watch a movie or something like that. You don't want to interrupt yourself to go ahead and turn off orienta orientation lock manually. You can just create here personal automation. So just go, let's say to Bluetooth here and choose the device. You will find your devices here. AirPods Pro in this case, tap done and tap the next button, tap on add action, shortcut, and right here, all I gotta do is tap on one shortcut and choose the shortcut from here. So orientation lock off. And just like that, I can have basically this shortcut run every time I plug in my AirPods so that it will automatically turn off orientation lock for me. The next cool feature I'm talking about is the new ability to take screenshots using the shortcuts app. Now by itself, this doesn't look that useful. Of course, you can do that very easily using the buttons or using back tab, double tap or triple tap to take a screenshot. But what you can do is actually combine that that shortcut with other features, with other actions, and you will can, you can create actually some pretty cool results. Like for example, let's say you have maybe stuff that you use for school, screenshots that you take on different websites, maybe Wikipedia or different apps that you use, and you want that you want to have them saved on a separate album, and you don't want to deal with basically organizing your screenshots. What you can do here is go to shortcuts and tap the plus button. Right here, make sure you search for screenshot. Once you find screenshot here, tap the plus button and just search for photo. And here you have save to album. So once you tap on that, it will show you right here the results save screenshot to you tap right there on recent and you can choose any album that you want. And now you can basically use this tap next here, name it. So let's name it screenshot, tap done, and you're good to go. Now you can combine this, of course, with double tap. So let's just go ahead and go to settings here, double tap or triple tap, whichever one you use. And let's say we have like double tap for this one. We have triple tap for a normal screenshot. So when you're on one of your apps, that is important, maybe for your school or something, and you want to actually save that screenshot on a separate album, all you got to do is just use double tap and use, of course, this shortcut that we just have actually created. And you can see where it will save your new screenshot. It will save it on the album that you set. So anytime you do that, you can see here it is, it has saved that on this album. So if you just want to automatically like this, separate your screenshots and where you save them, you can do that with this new feature of iOS 14.5. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and tricks and learned how to enable these cool secret features on iOS 14.5. Hopefully you enjoyed guys, leave a like if you did, also don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.